Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. Now this is the page that we just created. Now to your left you have the tools panel. Now this tool will come in handy when you're creating or you know editing your work. So we have different tools over here. Now if you click and hold on one, it will give you its name and the different options that it has. And maybe if you just try and hover your mouse of your cursor over one over a tool, it will give you a short description of what that tool does and the name. So you can try this on any tool that you have. It will give you a short description of what it does and its name. Then at the top, we have the control panel. Now, this helps you to change the settings of your current tool. So maybe we start like something like the text tool. Then from here, I can be able to change the font, uh, change the font size, the alignment and the font color and so much more. So if I change to another tool, the settings will change. So that's the control panel then at the top very top we have the menu now from here it gives you uh the opportunity or the chance to import uh images now at the very top we have the menu and from here now if i go to file and click open i can be able to open a new file so i'll go to where i saved mine here it is select it then open and it will open in a different page now this is an image that you just opened in Photoshop and you'll see that it is open separately from the one that I created then to the right I have the panel dock now here I have different panels that come in handy when you're editing your work we you have the color panels the swatches panel gradient and so much more then if you can see at the top over here on this image it will tell you me at what percentage I'm viewing that image at so currently I'm viewing it at 33.3 percent now if I want to zoom in all you have to do is press ctrl plus that will zoom in and to zoom out it's ctrl minus so that's how we zoom out now currently I'm viewing it at 25 percent zoom level now let me show you how to show and hide any panel now, if you want to show and hide any panel like the ones we have over here, all you have to do is go to the menu, then select window. Then these are the panels that we have. Now I want to show certain um, panels. So what you do is you select them. So I want to show the gradients panel. Here it is. Um, I also want the layers panel. There it is. Uh, another panel. Let's say maybe properties, the properties panel. And there it is. And if you've noticed, every time I select one, it will mark itself on. Now, once you have your panels like this, you want to place them wherever you want. Now, if you want to move a panel, you just click and drag. So I'll place this over here. You just click and drag. Like so. Here's another one. Now, this one, I'll minimize it. You click and drag now as we go on we will learn how to arrange the panel how to customize it according to your needs and how to make certain changes in your tool in your tools panel now if you messed up your panel dock and you want to reset it all you have to do is come to window then workspace then reset essentials and it will reset the essentials. So, you know, these are the essential panels that you need when you're creating or editing a picture, or an image, or a file. Maybe you're working on something. We have the layers panel, channel, parts panel. These are the essential panels that you will be working with. Now, that's all you need to know about the Photoshop workspace.